Hey Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be good for Scorpio placements, sun, moon, rising, Venus, or if you are dealing with a Scorpio, these messages may also resonate with you as well. Keep in mind these are general readings, so they will not resonate with every single Scorpio out there. Um, also, energies can be interchangeable because this is a general read, so please keep that in mind. Scorpio, let's go ahead and jump in Scorpio so let's see you and the person that you're dealing with the person you have on your mind what does Scorpio need to know when it comes to their connection I'm seeing a past life connection uh, with someone here what does that mean uh, typically it's like a soulmate connection someone you have soul ties to it could be a twin flame a karmic something like that all right a strong attraction usually these connections are pretty intense as well um, you may be dreaming about someone or connecting with someone in your dream space as well, Scorpio. Um, someone here is getting ready to take a leap of faith, getting ready to take a risk on something here. So we'll see what that is. You may feel like this person's a bit manipulative. I'm getting Scorpio. Um, hmm, interesting. But there's an energy here of feeling like you belong with this person. Like, despite your differences, you guys belong together. All right, let's see, Scorpio. What do you have for Scorpio? Yeah, you see a happily ever after with this individual that you're dealing with. Um, someone here thinks or feels like they put you through too much. Like, they, they know that they put you through too much. They can feel your energy kind of slipping away. Um, they do still feel your energy even if you are separated, but there's something here like they know they put you through a lot, okay? It's like a mutual understanding I just heard. Um, interesting. Could have been a third party involved or another person in the mix that's causing some sort of confusion or conflict in this connection. Yeah, I'm getting that really strong. So let's see, overall energies for Scorpio. What do we got for Scorpio? It could feel a bit one-sided. There's that third party again. You may have uh, blocked someone Scorpio, because of a one-sided situation, it feels like you're putting more effort into this connection than they are. Um, this person feels like their energy feels pretty guarded, okay? It feels like they can't let you get too close to them, all right? Um, this person feels like they should have told you how they really feel deep down inside. Yes, there is a third party for a lot of you Scorpios I'm picking up on. This person can't stop thinking about you. Um, definitely there was some moments of hiding their love from you. Okay, um, I don't know why I said moments. So I feel like this person may, again, hold back quite a bit. But that was interesting. Okay, I'm going through a lot right now. So there's some external factors that are affecting your connection. Someone just has a lot on their shoulders right now. Um, you may feel like this person's giving you mixed messages, which is also confusing and throwing a wrench in the situation is what I just heard. Okay, Th you could be dealing with someone in secret. There could have been some sort of secret exposed or secret connection here. But I do feel like, again, somebody is very uh, closed off in the way that they feel, okay, and expressing how they feel, Scorpio. Yeah, it's like there's some sort of unspoken love here. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> the connection with this person feels different. There's like something about this person that feels different. Um, you're not afraid to, you're not afraid to charge ahead and move forward with this person. It may be somebody that you're on and off again with someone that you have had multiple cycles with. It's like very repetitive patterns with the individual that's showing up here, but it's like, there's an energy of holding on because you see potential in this connection, or you see like this person may match your energy, or you can see like you guys could be like a power couple or something like that. It's very intense. Uh, Scorpio. Let's see what else for Scorpio. Um, yeah, you and this person may be in separation. You may be on the rebound or your person may be on the rebound currently here. Um, you may feel a little bit frustrated in the situation. Yeah, look at that. It's very complicated right now, the situation, even though there's an energy here of like it being very complicated. There's some sort of mutual understanding, but you can't stop thinking about this person or they can't stop thinking about you. There's a lot of external factors that are affecting this connection right now. Someone's really going through a lot of shit um, is what I'm getting, and it's, it's putting a damper on your connection. You could have some sort of codependency here. Um, there's a strong infatuation. Okay, a lot of overthinking going on. So you, like you fell very fast for this person or they fell very fast for you. 
but the, you may feel like you got caught in an illusion or they do this is overall energy right now so take it how it resonates but there's some sort of wounded soul um, here showing up that has like codependency issues is what I'm getting okay there's something preventing you from taking this to the next level and it looks like it's just like a lot of external things going on okay someone could be on the rebound right now yeah this connection feels like a wish come true though this they possess all the qualities that you've ever wanted in someone could be in an open relationship right now whatever it is this connection is going to require a lot of work some of you could be married with children or you could be dealing with someone who's married or someone who has children that affects your connection as well here's that on and off again energy <sighs> Again, um, someone's re-entering your life who may disappear and reappear. So there's an energy here of not wanting to get trapped in that cycle again. All right. Yeah, it could be a karmic connection. I was feeling a strong soul tie with this individual. So it could be someone who's here to teach you a lot of soul lessons in this lifetime. Okay. Let's see what else. There's. It's like you had an instant attraction for this person. You guys had an instant connection. And they're teaching you some sort of life lesson. Some sort of big life lesson here. All right. You guys have some sort of mission together for some of you that's very specific it won't be for everyone um your person has fears of rejection or this could be you there's some sort of um fears of rejection okay that's coming up could be abandonment issues um commitment issues something like that wow look at that it's all part of the plan so everything that's happening right now even if you don't quite understand this journey that you're on wow it's part of your divine mission it's part of the plan this is happening exactly the way that it's supposed to even if it's um even if you're struggling during this time you have a message here that it's happening for a reason okay um, some of you, this union you have with this person, you guys have some sort of mission together to impact the world or other people on a large scale to help heal people. Some of you could be healers, um, some sort of spiritual service together that's showing up here. Okay. And this is part of the plan. This is part of that journey. All right. Let's see. That's very specific. It won't be for everyone. Here we go again with the hidden feelings. Someone here is definitely hiding how they truly feel. They suppress their emotions. One of you is definitely going through a dark night of the soul, which is pushing to have some sort of awakening. Okay. Hmm. Dark night of the soul. A lot of people ask what that is. It's, um, um it's like a period of time where you feel very disconnected um like even on a soul level spiritual desolation disconnected feeling very empty inside some people feel very alone um disconnected depression sometimes things like that okay one of you is going through that and it's really pushing you or them to some sort of awakening all right this connection could feel very toxic, all right? Um, again, with the codependency is what I'm picking up on. There's some sort of shift happening in the energy here. Wow. It's like you love this person for who they are, flaws and all. You're, you're accepting them without trying to change them. That might not be reciprocated. You may feel like you're accepting this person for everything that they are, but you may feel like this person's not reciprocating that or accepting you for who you are and maybe trying to make you change something about you. Um, so I do see that you can expect some sort of gift or date invitation from this person. Don't be surprised. There's some sort of shift in energy here. Uh, you have a very important message, Scorpio, to make sure that you're staying grounded during this time. Okay. Yeah. Some of you are really doing some soul searching, could be dealing with a Virgo, um, really being in solitude and doing some soul searching. What are you here for? All right, what are you here for? What are you doing? What are your gifts? What are your talents? Some of you are really opening up to that, okay? What else? Yeah, it's going through a full transformation. Death could be going with another Scorpio for some of you. I'm hearing Taurus. I just heard Pisces, Aries, Libra. Um, something here is going in your favor, even if it doesn't feel like it's in your favor, it's in your favor. I don't know why they're telling me that, but it'll be for someone out there. All right, some of you could be dealing with a Leo. You do have a lot of joy coming in for you, a lot of happiness and growth is what I'm hearing. Um, yeah, with this uh, reflection, okay, with this withdrawal of energy, with this uh, reflection, okay? Let's see, what is your person thinking about when it comes to your connection for Scorpio? What is your person thinking about Scorpio? What are they thinking about? 
Wow. Well, they got a lot on their mind, huh? They're thinking about communicating um, and having some sort of reconciliation. Page of Cups, Six of Cups. But you also have a lot out here as well. So let me take a look. Could be joined with a air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Knight of Wands, King of Swords. Let's start there. This person's thinking about this in and out, off and on type of energy. You guys do have a very passionate connection. Um, there is a strong attraction here. However, someone emotionally detached, and that's what's on their mind. Somebody is trying to gain some sort of mental clarity in regards to the situation. Um, I do feel like this person's thinking about letting their guard down, nine of wands in reverse. Um, but there's an energy here of like not feeling like you guys are going to accept their offer or renew something. Judgment in reverse. Okay. Um, you also have the wheel of fortune. Some of them are thinking about um, that this is fated or this is destiny. Um, some of them are thinking about some sort of change in their love life, okay? How do they feel towards Scorpio? How do they feel towards Scorpio? Well, Ace of Swords. This person wants to give you some sort of clarity um, or have some sort of conversation, like truthful conversation is what I'm hearing. How do they feel towards Scorpio? Wow. This person's resisting change. They feel like it's hard to let you go. It's too hard to let you go. I'm hearing that in like a song like it's too hard to let you i don't know that's weird um yeah they feel like you walked away they feel rejected they feel shut out interesting they feel like you left them to seek a deeper meaning or that they feel like on a lot of ways they don't deserve you or they don't level up to you um interesting how do they view you scorpio how do they view scorpio what is this? Queen of Cups. They view you. Wow. You shut them out. You could be going towards something new. It could be a fire sign. Leo, Sag, Aries. I'm seeing Pisces as well. Um, they view you as they love you. Eight of Wands. But you're moving forward. Like quick. You're moving forward. Undecided and Four of Swords. Yeah, there's a lot of indecisive energy here. There's a lot of external factors affecting your connection. And they view you that way. They view you as healing, withdrawing from this connection. Taking a time out is what I'm getting. Okay, let's see. What are you thinking about? <laughs> Remember, energies can be interchangeable, okay? I feel like you guys are thinking about some sort of ending here. Scorpio, what are you thinking about? Scorpio, what are you thinking about? You're thinking about equal give and take. You're thinking about who or what is worth putting your time, money, and energy into is what's on your mind. You're thinking about balance, um, what's fair, reciprocity, wow, king of cups and mirroring. So if you're dealing with another water sign, this person may be on your mind, but I also feel like some of you are thinking about love. Um, and some of you are thinking about love and going within and doing some inner work here, loving yourself, self-love, self-care, what's best for Scorpio. Um, is what I'm seeing, all right? How do you feel towards this person? Two of Swords, Queen of Swords. Interesting. You feel um, like you need to set some sort of boundary with this person, Scorpio. You feel like there's a need to set some sort of boundary. Like you're not falling um, in love too easily or you're setting some sort of boundary with this individual. You're in a stalemate energy. You feel like maybe this person has a choice to make between two people or vice versa. But you feel like there's some sort of indecision here. How do you view this person? Three of Cups, Date, Divine Timing, um, you can't be trusted. Some of you don't trust this person. You have a hard time trusting. You feel like they give you false promises or use your weakness against you. Um, you view them as they could have had you in a third party situation with the Three of Cups or some sort of friends with benefits situation even. This person may ask you out or try to spend time with you and you're going to view them that way. Like they're trying, but you don't trust them. Um, I just heard bye, Felicia. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. Um, mutual energy, Scorpio. Ace of Wands in reverse. I feel like you guys had some sort of false new start. You and this person, because I did get on and off again several times, it's like... You guys may have have had or been open to a new um, start with this individual, but it was a false new start, okay? You may have found something out about this individual, um, which made you really think about the past and if this is something that you want. Um, 
and you made a decision to walk away. What's blocking? What's challenging your connection? What's challenging this connection? Four of Wands. Could be a marriage. You may have found out someone's married um, or in a commitment here. You do have married with children here twice. Um, four of Pentacles. Someone's holding back. Someone's holding back here. That's part of your challenge. Yeah, someone's running from your connection, running from their emotions, running from their feelings. They don't want to open up. They don't want to be vulnerable. You can't, I don't want to say you can't do that with a Scorpio, but <laughs> you shouldn't do that with a Scorpio because you guys feel everything like you know. And maybe that's why you're holding on because intuitively you know what it is, but this person's running and they're holding back and they're not telling you. I feel like a lot of you are just tired of that. What's the outcome? Yeah, this person's giving you mixed messages, mixed signals, the outcome. There could be some fears of the unknown here. Anxiety and stressing over the unknown. Nine of Swords and the Moon. All right. Um, you have the Hermit. Somebody here is withdrawing. Again, doing that soul searching. Ten of Wands. Because this is a burden. Because it's too much. Um Things are moving in your favor. You do have justice here. You could be dealing with a Libra, um, but you don't have to be. But there is, a, you're coming back into balance within yourself is what I'm getting by withdrawing and doing some soul searching. I feel like you're icing someone out here because it's too much of a burden. You could be um, replaying things over and over in your get, in your head, over and over again in your head wanting to reach out like wanting to have some sort of talk but you're you're i'm i'm hearing like you're staying strong like you're reserving your energy um interesting what does this person want to say to scorpio let's get your tagline here what does this person want to say to scorpio it was like a fairy tale when we met my spirit is always with you can you feel me do you still love me too Scorpio, what else for Scorpio? You're my secret inspiration. So you're inspiring someone to be better. I do feel like this person feels like they're not good enough for you. Um, I'm sorry for leaving you hanging. I need to focus on my finances right now. You were my home and now I feel like I'm out in the cold. You're an angel in my life. I feel safe confiding in you. You're my secret inspiration. I wonder if you still think about me. How do you feel about me now that you've had time to reflect? I'm mad at myself for behaving this way. And you understand me better than anyone else, Scorpio. Yeah. Um, I definitely feel a withdrawal here and someone thinking a lot about this connection in the past don't be surprised again if this person shows up um asking you out you may have blocked this person but there is a shift in energy here and like like this card said this on and off person is coming back what else can you tell me for scorpio what's your uh, advice scorpio true love romantic feelings this is a romance of a lifetime and your feelings are real and worth exploring. Yeah, codependency and love yourself first. A lot of you are getting out of like some very codependent, toxic situation where you're just like, nope, I'm putting myself first. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm following my intuition. Despite the fact that you have a very passionate connection, a lot of you waited for this person. Could be at a distance from this person as well, um, but you're releasing. You're releasing because it feels very one-sided a lot of you are also doing some like inner healing work um uh like childhood trauma healing um work that's really going to help you maybe forgive your parents or um make you and the self-love make you more attractive and with that you're manifesting something completely new okay you do have a message here of being very clear and conscious of exactly what it is that you want because that's what you're manifesting all right you also have a message here of having some sort of heart-to-heart -heart conversation potentially getting some closure or something like that may be important for you scorpio okay Whew. you're reaching the end of some sort of cycle okay you're reaching the end of some sort of cycle you okay so this heart-to-heart -heart conversation here is for some sort of clarity to gain clarity on a situation that you've been waiting to release or 
resolve or find some sort of resolution in, okay? Um, some sort of answer that you've been seeking or wanting to know about is going to come in for you. It's going to be revealed to you, okay? But it's happening in right timing, whatever that means for you. <laughs> Maybe you've been waiting for this for a while, Scorpio, okay? But that is what I'm getting for you guys. I hope that that was helpful. I hope that brought you guys some clarity in your situations. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.